Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2017 Chinese drama and fantasy movie called Hansen and the Beast. The movie begins with a skinny man named Hansen who seems like being chased by a mysterious creature in the middle of the night. The creature eventually corners him and Hansen accidentally falls down with severe scratch wounds on his thigh. The scene goes back 36 hours before the incident when Hansen tries to date a woman from a wealthy family, hoping that she would pay off his debt. He claims that he is not willing to do sexual intercourse after the wedding, which makes the woman furious. She scolds him for his poor academic background and then gives her sister's number since he is quite handsome. He is offended and walks away while bringing the cake with him. Turns out that Hansen works as an elephant keeper in Solidarity Zoo. That night, he gets a message from a representative from the dating app he has been using saying that they have found another rich woman. The next morning, Hansen calls his dad, who has suffered mental health problems and always sees his son as a special agent. Suddenly, a group of nurses shows up and one of them warns Hansen to pay the bill or his dad will be expelled. He arrives at a coffee shop where a young beautiful woman named Xiao Bei randomly approaches him and somehow knows his name. She acts strange while stating that she has been looking for him for so long. Hansen is terrified when she reveals that she is a fox. He immediately runs into the toilet, but is later confronted by gangsters who forcibly take him out of the coffee shop. It is revealed that Hansen owed the gangsters 2 million yuan. In the evening, Xiao Bei pays a visit to Hansen's place, but he is frightened when the woman manages to locate the scars on his chest. Turns out that Hansen once protected Xiao Bei while she was in her white fox form and that's when he got the scars. Since Hansen still doesn't believe her, the woman attempts to transform to prove that she is indeed a fox. After consuming several bottles of beer, Xiao Bei finally transforms into a white fox. Hansen is so scared and escapes from his place after the fox tears his clothes. Meanwhile, a man from the Bureau of Transfiguration or BOT, an organization specializing in researching unique creatures, spots Xiao Bei illegally transforming in the human world and orders the others to capture her. The drunk fox chases after the topless zookeeper to the top of a building until Hansen gets cornered and hopelessly tries to touch the fox, but she startles him causing him to fall down. Luckily, the bot agents arrive on time and rescue Hansen. They release devices that wipe the witness's memory. Xiao Bei destroys the device just before it reaches Hansen as she doesn't want his memory about her erased. A few moments later, Xiao Bei loses consciousness due to drinking too much alcohol, so the agents take her away while leaving Hansen alone. Six hours later, Hansen returns home and is confronted by the gangsters again. He feels like he is hallucinating and suddenly goes crazy, but Xiao Bei appears to protect her lover. However, the gangsters and Hansen run away in fear after the woman transforms his head into a fox's head. Bot agents detect Xiao Bei illegally transforming again and immediately send the memory wiper device to the scene. Luckily, Xiao Bei manages to find Hansen just before he gets bitten by the device. She awkwardly tells Hansen that she loves him and wants to marry him to repay his kindness. However, the zookeeper makes it clear that he saved her only by accident at that time. On the other side, Commissioner Yun of Bot visits the agents and questions Captain Hong's capability to capture Xiao Bei. He explains that Xiao Bei's fox form is a rare breed and warns Captain Hong not to let her get polluted by humans. Back to Hansen, he meets a daughter from a wealthy family who is willing to marry him and help his financial problem, but Xiao Bei suddenly shows up and ruins the atmosphere, not allowing Hansen to date another woman. Hansen desperately reveals that he has no other choice but to marry a rich woman because he urgently needs to pay off his debt. Still that evening, Commissioner Yun approaches Hansen and explains the history of the creature whose genetics were brought by an alien spaceship and then mutated with Earth's ecosystem, creating the most intelligent being on Earth, including Xiao Bei, who now lives alongside humans. Yun gives a special syringe to Hansen, hoping that he would assist them to capture Xiao Bei. In exchange, Yun will give him a lot of money which will be enough for Hansen to pay his debt and live a decent life. Hansen goes to an amusement park where Xiao Bei approaches him and gives him money, gaining money from picking up trash there. However, Hansen states that it is useless and makes Xiao Bei desperate. Even though he has the opportunity to inject the liquid, he doesn't do it. Instead, he tells her about how he lost 2 million yuan after getting blackmailed by a fan. To grant more money for her lover, Xiao Bei goes to a nightclub and acts as a dancer. She manages to impress the rich man, but suddenly Hansen appears and takes her away. As they walk, Hansen scolds her for selling herself, showing that he indeed cares for her. He then reveals about his rendezvous with Yun. Xiao Bei makes it clear that it is fine to inject her as long as the debt will be paid, but he refuses and kisses her instead. 
they return to Hansen's place and conduct a brief wedding ceremony. Meanwhile, Commissioner Yun is informed about her location and immediately heads over to the club as well, but cannot find the white fox. However, he coincidentally discovers a woman who is illegally interacting with humans. She tries to attack him, causing Yun to lose his temper and eliminate her. Back to the couple. Bot agents surround Hansen's place and attempt to arrest Xiao Bei for breaking the law. Yun, Captain Hong, and his agents also present there. Hong creates a scene to buy some time, allowing the couple to run away, but not for so long. The fight ensues until Yun threatens to kill Hansen. Xiao Bei has no choice but to kneel down and allows herself to be captured by Bot. Luckily, the gangsters randomly show up and distract the agents. Xiao Bei uses this opportunity to transform and runs away with Hansen. The commissioner chases after them and fires an arrow, which hits the fox's back. Xiao Bei's friend, Bing Bing, picks them up and treats her deep wound. The agents manage to locate her, so Bing Bing brings the couple to a movie shooting studio. The director feels suspicious about a man, which turns out to be Yun disguised as a royal family member, as he has not seen him before and his makeups are terrible, but the shooting of the fighting scene eventually continues. Xiao Bei realizes that bot agents are in the studio, so she takes Hansen with her and tries to escape. However, Yun plays dirty and brings Hansen's father to lure him, which is successful. Xiao Bei sees them and walks toward Hansen. She grabs his hand and deliberately injects the liquid to her neck. Three months after the incident, Hansen has become a rich man and he is now able to move his dad into a decent room in the hospital. Despite having abundant money, he still misses Xiao Bei and is willing to risk everything to find her. Hansen returns to his old place where he accidentally finds Captain Hong, who blames him for injecting the poison into Xiao Bei. After a brief fight, Hong finds a way to break into the prison and brings Hansen to a restaurant where the restaurant owner Macovers Hansen, making him look exactly the same as Commissioner Yun. Afterward, they get into a fridge that transports them directly to the prison through an underground tunnel. They meet the manager of the prison, who turns out to be Yun's brother-in-law. He is confused about fake Yun's behavior, but has no choice but to obey his command. The manager takes Hansen to Xiao Bei's cell. However, she doesn't seem to recognize her husband, even after he reveals his disguise. She attacks Hansen while he tries to talk to her. Hansen shows her their marriage sign and apologizes for being a useless partner, and it seems like Xiao Bei slowly remembers him. Not long after, Hong intervenes and they attempt to take Xiao Bei out. Unfortunately, they come across the real commissioner Yun, which makes the guards confused. Just after the real commissioner reveals his wings, Xiao Bei breaks free and accidentally removes Hansen's mask. When Yun is about to kill Hansen while streaming it live, several prisoners escape from their cell and distract everyone in the room. Turns out that they are actually humans who are victims of false arrest during the shooting sequence earlier in the studio. One of them climbs up and stupidly pulls down the lever, which unlocks every cell in the prison. The situation becomes chaotic as the prisoners emerge and attack the guards. Commissioner Yun even has to step in to deal with the prisoners. At this point, Xiao Bei finally regains her consciousness, but still barely recognizes her husband. Hansen distracts Yun and Hong uses this opportunity to take him down. A few moments later, the battered Yun grabs a knife and attempts to kill Xiao Bei, but the knife hits Hansen instead, who tries to protect her. Xiao Bei, who finally remembers Hansen, becomes furious and effortlessly throws the commissioner out of the building. The following day, Yun is seen arrested and is now under mental status examination while Captain Hong gets a promotion and allows the marriage between their race and humans. However, he still hardly accepts the fact that his crush, Xiao Bei, chose Hansen over him. Meanwhile, Hansen survived the attack and the couple now live a happy life together. At the end of the movie, the couple are blessed with a child. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.